Well, it's um, it's a, a big, big story, Patrick, of what's going on um, at the moment on multiple levels, and you know, there's so many different levels of it that come together to really um, show the picture. Um, and in the simplest uh, of terms, when I first started consciously waking up 20 years ago to what was going on, I came across something called, uh, which I called actually, uh, the truth vibrations. Um, and it was that there was a vibrational change coming, um, which there was no evidence for it 20 years ago. And that this vibrational change was going to wake uh, people up from their coma. Mm. The more awake would wake up first, and then the, the, the more asleep would wake up, and so it would go on. And the other effect was that uh, all that had been hidden f would be brought to the surface. This energy would, would be like trawling the bottom of the ocean and bringing it to the surface where it can be seen. And of course, over the last 20 years, um, mm. That's happened. I mean, the, 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 the wake up is phenomenal. It, uh, it's not the majority yet or anything like, but compared with 20 years ago, it's staggering. Uh, and my goodness, what, 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 what's been happening for 20 years? And then even more in 15 years, even more in 10, even more in five, even more in two, the, the, the secrets are, are coming to the surface. They can't be stopped. And um, what I talk about in the new book, about uh, in, among many, many things uh, connected, is that we are at the point of a change over between a previous epoch of human experience and a new one and it relates to the secular nature of time that the ancients talked about not least uh, in places like uh, asia and india where they talk about the yugas the changing yugas mm -hmm. from the golden age yuga to the right. the more suppressed yuga mm -hmm. and what, I, what I've said in the book, um, and people just have to see the background and the evidence to see what they think, um, is that um, the black holes resonate frequency, and that is the base frequency of this reality. Uh, and uh, when um, this frequency uh, vibrates, it is eliciting, it is triggering um, information from the suns, in, in our case, of course, our sun in the solar system, to, um, con to deliver um, information in the form of photons. And what this creates is an information background construct that is absolutely the same in principle as the wireless internet. And we then decode that information into this reality that we're experiencing. And the uh, qi energy that the Chinese talk about going through the meridian lines of, of, of the um, acupuncture uh, um, area and belief uh, and the healing uh, technique uh, is photon energy. Um, the uh, the energy going through the Earth's um, energy grid and the, the ley lines and the vortex points, etc., is photon energy, and it's information. That's what it is. That, that that's why they found that when uh, the energy is passing through the meridian lines of the body too slowly, um, or even too quickly, out of uh, harmony, out of uh, ideal then you get some form of, of illness, some form of dis-ease, disharmony. And the, of course, the needles and other acupuncture techniques are, are there to balance this energy back to, to its harmonious state. And it's interesting that um, when people have a problem with their computers, they say, um, my, my computer's slow today. I'm, it must have a virus. It's, it's, hmm. um, why is it slow? Because the information is not passing around the, the network to optimum speed, and therefore it malfunctions. And this is why, in the same way, when this photon energy, this information, is uh, not passing around the, the body to optimum speed, uh, then there's a problem. The, the, the computer malfunctions, the, yeah. the body malfunctions. Now, that, coming back to, you know, because everything connects to everything else, if you keep talking long enough, um, th this uh, whole control system and the, uh, the financial stuff that I'm, I'm seeing today, the, the fall in the global stock markets, etc., um, we're at this epoch change um, where the energy construct of the previous epoch is now being replaced by the, the new one, one of much greater expansion and awareness, because the, 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 this vibration from the black holes, and because scientists have, have established now that there, there's a massive black hole at the, right at the center of this galaxy, and probably one at the center of every galaxy, which completely fits the theme. This vibration doesn't stay uh, static. It moves through a cycle. And as it moves through its cycle, 
it is triggering different information from, from the suns in the form of photons. And so the way it plays out as it goes through its vibrational cycle and then comes back to the start again, is it creates these, these, these epochs, these periods of experience uh, in this reality on this planet that um, are different. So, so like the ancients talked about the, the golden age, which is just amazing expansion and infinite potential. Um, and then that, that came to an end amid great catastrophes and floods and the, the great flood they talk about and, and, and all these other ancient uh, civilizations talk about the same thing, the great ge ge um, geological uh, and, um, and other catastrophes. And we've been through this period um, of suppression it's almost like the dark ages of this cycle. Um, and so uh, the information construct has been very much supportive of that which wishes to control, which wishes to manipulate, which wishes to suppress. And, and now, as I was told 20 years ago, um, this is coming uh, to an end and we're now moving into, into this new epoch of a very different energetic construct very different information construct um, and again people talk about the age of Aquarius and they talk about 2012 in the Mayan calendar uh -huh. these are all different expressions of basically the same thing so so coming coming back to to, to what's going on now is the control system um, has been working because it can see down our, our quote timeline uh, as we can't um, they've been working to try to mitigate and suppress and dilute the effectiveness of this vibrational change upon people. And so um, they're trying to keep people in a state of, of um, vibrational density connected to the old epoch vibration and, and not connecting to the new one, which will expand their consciousness, their awareness, their sense of self, their sense of the world, their potential for creativity, all of it's gonna be fantastic once this control system is gone. And so they're, they're doing it in many ways. And, and uh, you know, I, it's my very strong belief, Patrick, that um, over uh, having put all this together over the years, that we're not actually seeing with this Orwellian period of control and gathering dictatorship, uh, primarily uh, an effort to uh, have more power, although that a, a byproduct in the short term. It is actually uh, trying to stop the control system being dismantled by this vibrational change that's waking up minds, and when minds wake up, the control system goes down. And so they're, 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 they're bombarding us with um, chemical um, additives in food, which mm -hmm. are destabilizing the body, computer, receiver, transmitter, mm -hmm. um, uh, chemically. Uh, they're doing it through uh, all this microwave, electromagnetic smog and, 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 and fog that we now uh, live in. And, and they're doing it um, in their ideal by putting microchips in everybody so that they can externally um, suppress our vibrational state and our ability to receive higher, higher, these, these higher uh, levels of awareness, these higher levels of, of, of knowledge. And, and another key thing is, uh, and, and this is in their writings, they're, they're, they're going to throw everything at us in this period to try to put us in states of fear, states of confusion, bewilderment, uh, and um, instability. And so, they, they, you know, you've got the, the, the war on terror stuff going on. You've got um, uh, the, uh, the, 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 the fear they're trying to generate, but they're increasingly losing ground on that about climate change and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, and, 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 and primarily, of course, um, in terms of getting people uh, worried and in fear, they're, they're uh, trying to crash or they intend to crash the world financial markets yeah. uh, and, and then offer the solutions, of course, uh -huh. which is a, a, a centralized uh, uh, global economy. Yeah. Well, uh, yeah, in, in a way, yes. I mean, what, what, um, what, what I strongly uh, say uh, is that what we're experiencing is a cosmic game. And it's a cosmic game which offers um, awareness, consciousness, the infinite level of us the the, the 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 disembodied infinite awareness that's what we are we're awareness yeah. and 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 the when the awareness uh, comes to experience this reality through the physical body it's like uh, the physical body is like the computer that takes us on the internet you see if I if, if I'm sitting here now um, and, and I go on the internet actually I don't go on the internet the computer goes on the internet I observe the internet through the computer um, and that's fine as long as me, the, the guy 
sitting here with the mouse and the keyboard is in control of where the computer goes and, and what I think of where the computer goes. Because I'm, I'm now observing this reality from a point of view of consciousness. I'm, I'm observing into this world, but I'm not of this world in terms of the point of my observation. What would, um, what would happen uh, if uh, that connection was lost is that now the computer level of reality would be deciding where I'm going on the internet or where it's going and what it thinks of it. And, and that's very much the theme of the way the control system works. It wants to disconnect um, the five sense level, what I call body-mind, the, the, the computer connection level um, of awareness from uh, consciousness. So, so that the, the uh, body-mind level uh, is, is basically driving the bus. And, and if you uh, uh, disconnect from that higher inspiration, that higher intuition, that higher knowing, which, which we all are, mm -hmm. then, um, then you, you start looking the other way to get a fix on who you are, where you are, the nature of reality, what's going on in the world and what to make of it. And you're looking in, if you like, to the cosmic internet um, to, to get a grasp of that and, and what the control system's done, it's got control of all the forms of information within the, with, within the, um, uh, the reality uh, on this planet, which you then look to to get a fix for who you are and where you are and what's going on, the education system, the media uh, and, and what have you, uh, religion. Uh, in its manipulative form yeah. uh, and, and, and that's the idea it's to, it's to disconnect us now what what the, I would suggest this cosmic game is, is, is laid out to do in the way that I've just been talking about with this vibrational cycle it goes through which elicits different levels of awareness and information is it's a cycle which offers awareness um, a choice do you want to come in and experience a time of suppression uh, and what that's like and what it's like to feel disconnected from your true self um, or uh, do you want to come in and, and experience this period of this golden age where every, everything's connected and you've got this incredible um, all possibility, all uh, creativity, because um, I had this, um, I had this series of pictures in my mind a, a few years ago now, um, when I was sitting in the bath, and first of all, I saw um, clearly billowing energy, um, which I took immediately to be consciousness. Why I did that, I don't know, but that just just came to me immediately. Then this eye appeared hmm. inside this energy, and in front of the eye appeared a telescope. And then at the end of the telescope appeared the Earth and solar system and the universe. And the last movement was, was for the telescope to morph into a human body. And it, it, it was what I could see very obviously from the very simple sequence it was that what it was profoundly saying, which is that the body is a lens, just like a computer, through which consciousness um, experiences this reality, observes this reality. But, be, but the, 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 the body computer mind level has has awareness itself it's not as expansive uh, and, and and all knowing as, as um, what I call consciousness but it has the ability to think and to observe and to react to uh, what it sees to make decisions and because of the control system and the suppression most people on the planet it is changing hallelujah to that but most people on the planet are absolutely filtering all their experience through this very, very low level of awareness called mind. And only by getting it in that state can the few control the many on the scale that they do. Yeah. It's that old and idea feel, that the, excuse sorry. me, like the mind is, a, is a, a wonderful servant, but a terrible master kind of idea. That's, that's absolutely perfect. Um, uh, mind is there to be a vehicle to serve consciousness, to have an experience within this reality. Mm. And there are wonderful experiences to have. You see, when, when um, you are in a non-embodied state, um, you gravitate to vibrational levels that um, you are, that sync with where you're at. So, you know, if, if you're vibrating to say Radio 1, you're not gonna be on a level of Radio 2 or Radio 4, you're gonna be on Radio 1. What, what these um, virtual reality universes are, these cosmic games as I call them, they're a vehicle which through the, 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 the connection, the, the body-mind, um, consciousness of infinite different states out in the, in, in the realms of disembodied awareness can experience the same reality together. They can look at each other through the same eyes. It's a, just a wonderful uh, way and a wonderful 
a place to for all levels of awareness to experience each other. Mm -hmm. Really, it's just yeah. fantastic. But but what's happened? What 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 what's what's happened in this period of um, of suppression is we have lost that understanding, and it's now coming back. Yeah. And a, as we as we uh, open our minds, I mean these. These phrases, Patrick, we use all the time, they're, they're, they're profound truths. Hmm. When we open our mind, open our auric field, if you like, and connect with these higher levels, not of some, you know, some other entity, ourselves, hmm. then um, we, our vibrational state changes, uh, we connect with these truth vibrations, we, we uh, uh, decode from them, much higher levels of awareness than we've had up to this point, knowledge, understanding, knowing, and, 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 and the, the, the river moves into another uh, vibrational state which 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 creates a totally different um, uh, experience in this reality and our kids and grandkids are not going to live their whole lives it looks like it now my goodness doesn't it mm -hmm. they're not going to live their lives in an Orwellian fascist communist global state they're not it's yeah. coming down when you um, spin a plate on a, on, a, on a table and when you first spin it the cycle of the spin is very long and slow and then when it comes down, it gets faster and faster and faster until hmm. uh, at the end of the cycle, it goes -a -ta 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 and stops. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Now, this cycle is very much, the, these cycles are very much like that. What, this is why we're, we're, what these truth vibrations can quite rightly be called the quickening, because hmm. it is like a quickening. And so um, what, what happens is things happen in, in, to our perspective. It doesn't really uh, happen like that uh, mm -hmm. in reality, but to our perspective, more and more and more and more happens in shorter and shorter and shorter what we call time. Yeah. Uh, and and, and uh, as this, this epoch, this cycle is coming to an end, so all the debris of that cycle, all the, the hidden, all the, the, the dark stuff, all the, the debris, all the, the cesspit level of it, all of it has to be come to, the, come to the surface where it can be processed. And that's what the truth vibrations are doing. They're processing this stuff. And to do that, they're bringing it to the surface. That's it, a nice it, visual. Kind of, yeah, I like that. That's a nice visual, what you've just painted there. Yeah, it's like, um, uh, it's quite funny, really. It's, it's a hoot, actually, <laughs> when I observe it, because mm -hmm. um, we've got the control system here, which um, thinks it's the Im immovable object, but it isn't. Um, and then we've got the irresistible force, which is this epoch-changing um, energetic transformation. And the control system, through wishful thinking, and, and not, not least uh, uh, considerable amounts of ignorance of what's going on, um, they think they're in control completely. They think that, 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 that their agenda for centralized global fascist dictatorship is a done deal and just got to play out. They're in for the shock of their eternity. And that too will be their experience.